Fast X is the latest film in the Fast and Furious franchise, and I've got to say, I think that it's pretty good. It is, in my opinion, a damn side better than 9, which is, in my opinion, the worst film in the franchise. Yes, 9 is a bad movie, and I really don't like it. But they took a car to space! I don't care that they took a car to space. A cool action scene does not for a good movie make, in my opinion. But we are not talking about Fast 9, we are talking about Fast X. And honestly, I think that Fast X is a lot of fun. I think that Jason Momoa is the exact right amount of enthusiastically flamboyant and fun for a Fast and Furious villain, while also being the most menacing motherfucker we've ever seen in this franchise. Yes. Of every villain that we've seen in the Fast and Furious movies, Jason Momoa's Dante Reyes is the worst one when it comes to actually being scary and a menace to the team. Dante has managed to do things to the team that I literally did not think possible. He managed to split the entire team up, separate them so they were unable to work together, and he has forced Dom to be on his own, which, since the fourth movie, has literally never been a thing. Dom has had his friends and family as backup pretty much since the start of the series and he has never been alone when it comes to any kind of conflict with the villains before and for me that actually makes reyes more scary now apart from this movie having the greatest villain in the fast and furious franchise i think that this movie could do a few things better the scripting's not necessarily the best work some of the dialogue can feel a bit clunky and especially with the recent fast and furious movies there's way too many characters here to keep track of to the point that brie larson's character mr nobody's daughter who in the trailers if you're going to believe them is going to play a massive part in this movie and be incredibly important is on screen for about a total of 10 minutes and does next to nothing. Honestly, that might be my biggest complaint. There are so many characters in this film because they try to bring everyone that's ever been involved with the family back into this movie. But honestly, it was almost too many. Jason Statham shows up for a few minutes, but again, it's like 10. Little nobody's here for a few minutes after his disappearance from 9. And he's again on screen for the first like 15 minutes of the movie and then just isn't in the rest of the movie he's not killed or anything he just stops showing up in the film jacob makes his return from the last movie john cena the only real entertaining part of nine for me yeah no nah, they're definitely trying to use him as a brian stand-in he doesn't have the same charisma as brian for me jacob's a fine character but again not enough screen time from either the last movie or this one for me to really care about him in any major way beyond oh cool there's john cena doing cool action hero things. Now, the stunts in this movie, I actually think are more impressive than in the last film. In 9, they kind of jumped the shark. You know, you have a car swinging across a impossible gap to make it across, or a car going to space, or the impossible 10 mile long straight stretch of road that a three section bus slides on its side before going over a cliff. You know, normal stuff. But as interesting as those stunts were to me, they felt very jump the sharkish in terms of what we had seen from the Fast and Furious movies before. I know it was a meme of take a car to space! But without any kind of setup for the car going to space outside of there's a satellite, it felt very out of place for me and no reason to do it. All the stunts in this make sense given the context of the film. A lot of the stunts in these films are somewhat callbacks to the fifth movie. Dante wants to make Dom suffer, similarly to how Dom made him suffer, at least according to him. So the first giant action scene is really reminiscent of driving the safe through Rhea. They end up on the same bridge as the climax of the fifth film at one point. A good chunk of the movie is spent in Rhea, and I kind of liked that. I liked the concept of calling back to stuff that we've seen in the past for these movies. And ultimately, I'm interested to see where we go from here. I want to see how Dom and the rest of them handle the ramifications of the end of Fast X. I want to see the next two movies, and I do at least think they're going to be interesting films if nothing else and i do actually think fast x is a lot of fun there are some things that i did not like about the movie and one thing in the movie that truly pissed 
me off. Mostly because it again invalidates everything that the ninth film was, which makes the ninth film even more pointless in my opinion. But other than that, the movie is fine. With everything in mind, for me personally, I'd say that Fast X rolls a 15. It's an above average movie in terms of its action and stunts, and it is really good in the context of the Fast and Furious franchise. But if you're not already a fan of the movies, you're probably not going to enjoy this one very much. If you are already a fan of the Fast and Furious franchise and its over the top stunts and outrageous nature as movies, I personally would probably recommend that you go see this movie. If you don't like the Fast and Furious movies or you haven't seen any of them somehow, I would probably not recommend this to you. I I know this review is probably like a week late but i just wanted to put a video out there uh these are my thoughts and opinions on fast x i am kind of glad to see these movies start to come to an end i think that we have reached the end of what we can really do with the fast and furious franchise but that is all that i have for now i hope you guys enjoyed this video from me if you'd like to follow me on any of my socials links to all of those are going to be down in the description that is all that i have i hope that you all have a fantastic day and i will see you next time